Here's a list of slang words you should know if you want to understand Americans or sound like a native English speaker. Hey everybody, welcome to Zefla Maria. I'm Maria and in this video I'm going to teach you all about American slang. Now if you're an international traveler or just looking for some easy conversation starters, then this is a must watch. So let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced English language learner, you need to know these slang words if you want to sound like an English native speaker. Better yet, write them down and bring them with you wherever you go. First, let's define the word slang. Now, slang is a term that refers to informal vocabulary words that you can't typically find in a dictionary. Slang words are a great way to add some culture when speaking English. Have in mind that American slang can vary depending on the region and can also have several meanings. So it is a good idea to have it a little practice with friends before using them. We use slang words in conversational context only, so make sure you don't use them in a formal way of speaking. If you're someone who watches American movies, TV shows or interviews, chances are you already know some of these words. Now before we get into the words, you might want to grab a paper and a pen and write these words down. Here's the ultimate American slang words list you should know. The first one is what's up, meaning hey, what are you doing? You can often hear it as what's up or what up. This is an informal idiomatic phrase we use when we greet someone or when we want to ask someone what is the problem. For example, hey Mark, what's up? Not much. What's up with you? Or, what's up with that guy over there? He seems scared. The second slang word is my bad, meaning I take responsibility for my mistake. For example, sorry, my bad, I didn't mean to say that. Or, my bad, I will find a way to make it up to you. The third slang word is I feel you, meaning I resonate with you, I understand you. For example, let's say, I'm so sick of this bad weather, oh, I feel you. Or, I feel you, I need coffee too. The fourth word is no big deal, also known as no biggie, meaning no need for a concern. It is not a big problem. For example, let's say, thanks for helping me out, Rachel. No big deal, Tom. Or I was disappointed to see that they're not working on Sundays, but hey, no biggie. The fifth word is throwing shade, meaning a way of disrespecting or mocking someone, either verbally or non-verbally. Throwing shade is always used in a negative connotation to insult someone. For example, let's say, he just couldn't resist the opportunity to throw shade on his ex-girlfriend. Or, they weren't the only people who threw shade at their performance. The sixth word for today is sweet, meaning fantastic or awesome. This word is commonly used to express admiration, satisfaction, or pleasure. For instance, let's say I hear she got a promotion. Sweet, or I passed the test. Sweet. The seventh word for today is bail or ditch, meaning I am going to break or cancel the plans with someone. For example, Anna bailed on the party last night, meaning she canceled last minute. Or I have to ditch him and start all over again, meaning I will have to leave or abandon him. The eighth word for today is epic, meaning exceptional. Awesome, unbelievable. For example, let's say, that was an epic party, we have to repeat it. Or, I got an A plus on my speaking test, epic. I knew you were a genius. 
The ninth word for today is a bummer, meaning a disappointment. If you say something is a bummer, you mean that it is unpleasant or annoying even. For instance, let's say, Oh no, I left my wallet at home. What a bummer! Or it was such a bummer when we missed the bus, you know? The tenth word for today is to be hyped, meaning to be excited about something or to look forward about something. For instance, everyone's so hyped around Christmas time. Or despite all the media hype, I think the movie was disappointing. And that's it. The more you know, the more fun you can have with English. And the easier it will be for you to make friends and understand your favorite TV shows and movies. I hope this list of American slang words has been helpful. Now, I want to know, what are some of your favorite expressions? Let me know in the comments below. If you've made it till the end of this video and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up to support me. Until the next video, I wish you a wonderful, beautiful day ahead. Stay zen and I will see you in the next one. Bye!